it's just starting to rain. I can't believe it. Is that rain? We've got a blue sky up there. I thought I'd time this in between the rain. We might get wet here. Well, one of us will. Okay, welcome to my channel. You join me here in the Yorkshire countryside, of course. I'm in an area called Farnley Tyres and uh, very near Castle Hill. Castle Hill is just up there. Yes, it started raining. This could be a shorter vlog than it was going to be. So in this vlog, we are not only just going for a little bit of a walk around, a bit of a chat, but uh, we're gonna pick up a camera which I left in a field uh, quite a ways down there. I left my camera in the corner of this field. Now these are tough times, I know. At the point of this vlog, Boris had just announced second lockdown, second national lockdown. So I hope we're all coping well. Just take shelter under this tree. It is starting to rain, so I apologize. Gonna have to put the hood up. Now I left my camera a few days ago <laughs> in the field in the corner of a field a bit ways down there, like I say, I left my camera there. Now, I didn't leave it accidentally. It can't make up its mind whether it's uh, sunny or raining today. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the hood up for a while. So yes, it's of course a trail cam. The camera is a trail cam. One of them cameras that captures wildlife. Always interested in wildlife and what's going on at different times of year. So I've always wanted one of these wildlife cameras and they call them trail cams. It's got uh, motion detection on it and it can see in the dark. Great little camera. And the model number is the Campark T45A. And it's been in a field over here. We're gonna go and see. Uh, if we can find it, if we can remember where, exactly where it is. Uh, it's been there for a couple of days and uh, this camera's pretty cheap. It's only 65 quid and a quid, that's uh, English money. Uh, yeah, it came out tops on all the reviews for best uh, wildlife cam, uh, trail cam. And I thought for that money, I'll give it a whirl. So I'm expecting really good results from it. <laughs> oh, the rain's coming down. Now this camera has got a 16 megapixel sensor. So that's gonna be great for pictures, hopefully. We will see. This is the first time I've left it out, uh, apart from the garden. I've only had it a few days. So yeah, um, it's got a 16 megapixel uh, sensor and it shoots video in full HD 1080p. There's a rainbow over my shoulder. I don't know whether you can see that, but there is actually a rainbow over my shoulder. Now this wild cam that we're picking up, if it's still there, I hope it is. It's been there a few days. It's, uh, it's got a very wide angle lens, which is handy and it's completely waterproof. And it's gonna have to be because the last few days have been so wet here in West Yorkshire. We might even be finding a pot of gold at this rate. Look at that rainbow, absolutely beautiful. So as you can see, we've got the sun and the rain, <laughs> bringing you everything in this vlog. And it seems like such a long time since I've spoken to you. So let's see if we can find this camera. It's a few days since I dropped it here and it was quite dark when I did. And I hope I can actually remember where I put it. And then there's also the scenario that, uh, what if someone's walked past it and it's not there, they've pinched it. <laughs> now there's not a lot you can do about that if somebody does uh, pinch one of these wild cams. It comes with the territory if you're going to leave it out. Make sure you leave it somewhere where nobody's really going to go. And that's the idea, really, if you're capturing wildlife. No one's going to walk there. It's going to be quite secluded where you leave it. And it definitely was where I left it. I don't know what I'm going to get. Might get nothing. <laughs> but there is a feature on this camera, which is password protection. And what that is, it'll make you feel a little bit better if it has been pinched, because it means that uh, if you don't get the password right, then the camera is absolutely useless. It won't even function. So they just get a camera and it's really just a bit of a paperweight. <laughs> Risking the hood down. <laughs> We're getting closer to where I think the camera is. I'm not entirely sure. Now, word of warning, this camera, the Campac T45A, it takes eight AAA batteries. Yes, eight AAA batteries. Uh, but don't let that put you off because uh, you can leave this camera out for almost a year. 
yeah, you can leave it out for almost a year somewhere and come back after a year, you'd have so much footage on there. But it can stay in standby mode uh, when it's not detecting any movement. Uh, it can stay in standby mode for about a year. So that's fantastic. Of course, if it is uh, a busy area wildlife-wise or whatever is in front of it, uh, even if there's like a twig blowing in front of it, it'll be recording pictures and recording video and that uh, tires the battery out. So that's fantastic. It means that it actually has amazing um, efficiency on the power. So the eight batteries do go far. And I'm hoping to pick this camera up today and uh, get the footage off it and put it back out again somewhere different. Now, I know you've been enjoying my uh, little interviews with fellow YouTubers and uh, that series I have been enjoying too. But I, of course, cannot continue with that because of the lockdowns and the restrictions. So I will be returning to that, hopefully, when we can all meet up again. But uh, thank you for all the comments on that and I was really enjoying it and uh, I know you guys were too. Now, I know we're all concerned about our loved ones, our jobs, the economy, but uh, I do want to just say, be mindful of how much you actually watch the news. Uh, we do have to keep tabs on it, of course, to know what's going on, but um, be mindful of how much you actually watch that, because uh, especially when it's going round in circles and basically it's the same message allow yourself to be distracted from it maybe with a hobby or even just a light-hearted tv program but my advice of course is to get yourself out for a walk rain or shine that's what i'm doing it's the best medicine at times like this even if it's just a walk around the block now let's see if we can find this camera i'm very close to where i put it i think i can see it Now, now let me just tell you, it wasn't like that when I left it. It's, I can't believe that, you can see I strapped it. I strapped it up. I can't believe that it's actually hanging like this. And on the, can you see on there, can you see the hair? Can you see, can you see the hair on there? So, <laughs> I don't know what's gone on here, but uh, yeah, it wasn't like that. Now I'll show you what it was like. It was, it was up like that. It was strapped like that. It was like that. And now it's like this. And I can't believe it's slackened off like that. So yeah, and all that hair on there, what's going on there? So that's how I found it, interesting. So yeah, I'm quite surprised at how it's just hanging like this. I did tighten it up pretty tight and it comes with this strap, which is great. It's a really good strap, easy to use. I'm surprised that after something has happened here. You can see the fur, uh, hair all over this. So I'm interested to see, I really want to open it up and show you right here, but I think I would find it difficult to show you here. So I'm gonna take it back home and we're gonna have a look back home and see what's actually gone on. So I'm, I'm excited to see. There is actually a screen inside that I can look at the footage on, but I just know that there'll be a lot of reflection there. Um, so you can see that the camera has pretty good, um, it has pretty good camouflage already on it. And I don't think anyone would be coming down here uh, on the d nights that I've left it out because uh, it's been terrible weather. And this is quite a secluded little corner of a field. So let's get this camera off here and uh, get back home and I'll show you what is on the camera. And we'll have a little bit more of a chat about some of the other features on this camera. So I'm back home, as you can see, in front of my computer and I've had a look at the footage. Don't get too excited about what we've captured. Here is the wildlife camera. There's the little screen that I was telling you about. You can 
probably see me on it, I think. I think you can. Uh, pretty decent screen, so you can look at your footage when you're still out in the field. So that's good to review them, but it obviously looks better on the, uh, on the computer screen. I'm gonna show you what we did capture, but I just thought I'd show you a few little uh, things inside. You can see there's all the battery pack there and all the buttons for the settings. There's lots of settings on this camera and there are some great reviews. I watched the reviews before I bought this, uh, before I bought this wildlife camera. Uh, so look at the reviews if you're interested in one for the Campark T45A, that is this camera. And it's a great little camera. The footage looks really good, although it is just of a horse. <laughs> That's all we got. That's what all the hair was all over it. It was a horse that made its way into the corner of the field and just stood there all night. And uh, as you'll see on the footage, you can see at the bottom, there's some pretty decent information from this camera. It gives you the date, the time, and it also gives you the temperature as well, the temperature that it was uh, at the time the footage is taken. So uh, great little camera. I've enjoyed my first outing with it and I hope to get some really good stuff and I hope you'll join me for the next one. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I've enjoyed talking to you. It seems like a while since I have. I upload vlogs every month. So if you've enjoyed this one, please consider subscribing. And if I don't see you through the month, I will see you in the next one. Bye.